a pole in the middle of our parking lot. Why is that? It's because we are updating our property to have a fence. And the fence is gonna come and tie into our building. We're working with our neighbor here, Amity, to make sure it works with them and access for them. That thing is loud. Check out what they're doing. They're drilling a hole. have got to be like jello in your hand. <laughs> He's just like, that, 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 that. yeah, wow. hell of a way to start the morning. Yeah. <laughs> but holy cow, how many have you had to drill before in a row? So we did a 10 fence up for the the new hospital wing in yeah. Grand Forks. It was like 400 feet every every 12 feet and for every 15 feet. Oh my goodness. So that was quite a bit, but we had like four of us uh, cycling. So yeah. So, but wow. It, that was crazy. You know, one time, one thing we look at is the price, right? When we first get these bids, uh -huh. and we're usually like, "Holy cow! How does it cost thirty grand to put in a fence?" Right. Well, you can see why. <laughs> this is like a lot of work. You got to specialize equipment, and you're not just uh, drilling a simple post hole auger no. hole. And and uh, anyway, these guys do a great job. Dakota Fence, they're a big name in in the FM area, other areas too around North yeah. Dakota. Yeah. But, far, far not, yeah. and... A lot of areas that our farmers are at. So if you ever need a fence, contact them. They're a good place to go. But uh, we're going to have a great fence here soon. We're going to get some action and updates on it. Poles are in on that side, the ones they pounded in. And uh, I didn't get out here in time, but they did get a skid steer off the trailer and dug the holes for the uh, poles that are going to hold the gate. These take quite a load, so they're going to actually concrete those in. That's why they got big holes drilled. I see someone else over here too that I think is related to this project. So way down there is the power company, and we commission them, we're paying them to Remove these power poles. They are in the way. They're always in the way. I don't even know what they're doing. They used to feed a house here. I really want to put my initials in that. It's still soft. I could do it. See? What do you guys think? Would that be too overreaching to stick my initials and a date? Maybe a heart? Should we sign your work? Are you going to sign your work? Put your initials in there? No, that's all you guys. Okay, okay. I, I do enough concrete. <laughs> Looking good, you guys got? Yeah, everything set, everything in. And remind me why we're concreting those those poles there. Just cause there's a lot of a lot of tension on it when it moves the gate, holds the gate. So it just prevents it from any kind of lifting or oh, God. it's just a more secure post. How deep is it? Three feet. Three feet down. Three feet down. So it should keep from heaving up and should keep from heaving up. It's uh it's the north country though, we can get frost down to six feet sometimes. Uh, so there's there's no permanent fix because as soon as you start doing five feet, then I can't pull it out of the ground with a skidder. You start to get some heavy uh, excavation machinery in here, but yeah. That's or just, you just, just lop it off flush. Yeah, <laughs> lop it off and move it. Done that plenty of times yeah. too. Well, I can see when I look down here, I only see one pole, so that's a good thing. Straight line. Well, this is the four <laughs> inch, so your only side you're really trying to look on is this side. Okay. Because this side is nothing, it's going to be, it's, yeah. it's a wider, wider pole. Looks good. They're getting it done. I did see a truck here with lights and they kept like driving around like they didn't well, know. They, oh, they, they pulled down, the wires. They took down all the cables. Yep. Hey, yep. So that's they did do something. Back. They pulled the wires. So we'll, uh, we'll tidy up these racks. So this is your mobile concrete. Yep. Truck. So I'm on a, I'm on a lot Ready of, mix. I'm on a lot of commercial sites where we have a lot of like, you know, 40, 40 some holes. So I do ready mix quite Oh, a bit. yeah. Mostly this is residential when you can't get a truck back there or. Yep. Or so you're just moving a little slower than the ready mix guys. A like, little you know. mud buggy kind of thing. Yep. yep. It works pretty good. You know, we only had 11, so not mm -hmm. quite four yards, but.
just driving through the new fence here, at least the poles, because I heard noise over here. Turns out, Jesse's driving the skid steer. Well, guys, I don't see the power poles in here anymore. There used to be a big power pole over here. That is gone. And then there's one over here, maybe two. Those are gone. So that's sweet, no more poles. Apparently this tree was no match for the skid steer. It's a new day and Dakota fence is back. They're putting up the fence. They got the poles already up before, as you knew, but now they're putting the top pole on and they're stretching fabric. So you'll get to see the action. Yes, sir. <laughs> These guys are the real deal. They know what they're doing. This, this stretches it up yeah. and you've already got this sucked over yeah. and now you're going to attach it. Easy peasy. Okay, the fence is in, officially. But it's also winter efficiently, it seems like. So what we got here is two lots that we've really merged together. We've got a great relationship with Amity Technology and we actually share the building here with them. Um, they use half of it for their parts, we use the other half for our parts in our offices. And so instead of this uh, awkward transition where there was just junk collecting and it wasn't secure in this part, we decided to basically level everything and move everything and get it all more useful. So Dakota Fence came out, we had them bid on it with some other companies, they won the bid. And we added the gates where needed to be able to drive the vehicles in and out. Over here is essentially where our space or our area is. And so you'll see we've got an air cart in here, sometimes we'll have a couple. And we've got some other stuff that's in transition. We've got our trucks and trailers that we can park in here and keep off the street. And we're just out of space. We got so many people and uh, they need to park somewhere. So usually this gate's open during the day and we've got containers over there. If you can see them, we must have six, seven, eight containers that we put some overflow inventory in that doesn't mind if it's outside. So we're, we're happy to be able to put our, our rebuilders, their trucks inside and have them in a secure area as well. But uh, pretty neat. We're really thankful that this is done. And we're thankful for you. Thanks for tracking with us. Thanks for seeing or your interest in seeing all that Ready does. And as we grow, we'll keep you posted. All right, guys, God bless. See you next time.